Other than the adventure itself, I'd say the best part is returning home to your home state with some of your own meat that you harvested going deep into nature. Now with these salmon fillets, I've got a couple ideas, but we have a few guests coming over today that are girls, so I'm gonna go a little bit fancier with this recipe. It's gonna be stuffed salmon rolls, which I'm pretty excited for. I've never actually made them, but I got a good idea what it's supposed to look like when it's done. All right, to kick things off, we're gonna throw some extra virgin olive oil in over medium high heat. Once it's hot and shimmery, we're gonna add our onions. We're gonna cook them down for one to two minutes. All right, once those onions are cooked down nicely, we're going to add our garlic and our spinach. Now we're gonna cook this for an additional two to four minutes. It's pretty miraculous how quick the moisture and the spinach just gets sucked out. And once it does, everything kind of shrinks down. At first you might think you have too much in your pan, but it's gonna get down quick. It goes from like a Popeye serving of spinach to this little bit here. All right, now that this is ready, we're going to pull it off the heat, move it over here, and then we're gonna add a little bit of lemon zest and cream cheese. When it gets to kind of this spinach dip, Play-Doh type texture, kind of has that buttery look to it, that's when it's done. Remember, it's gonna cook inside the fish as well. All right, now that that's done and ready, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and in the meantime, we'll go over here. This fish is obviously wild caught. So you're gonna have different size fish and the thickness of the meat differs in the different parts of the fish's body. So you're gonna have some that are thicker than others, but you're gonna make them all about an inch and a half wide cutting long ways. I'm gonna take the sauce and spread it evenly over all of them. And when you're done with each one of these, you're just gonna put your pan lined with parchment paper. It'll keep it from sticking and it's good for baking. Keep everything kind of together. And these look nice. Honestly, looking at this, if I got that at a restaurant, I would be like, it looks pretty legit. You wouldn't know a schmuck like me made it. Okay, ladies, I did the best I could. So if you don't like it, at least lie to me. What is it? This is sockeye salmon from the Kisilof River. We got forks too. And it's wrapped around spinach and cream cheese. And there's like some garlic in there because I always use garlic. Mm, you cook this? Yep. I'm impressed. Really? Mm, it's good. It's not bad. I'm not usually a huge fan of salmon. No. Try this salmon. Come on. <laughs> it's in a different category. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's meatier, right? It's good. It's more meaty than fishy. That's what I like about it.